Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Element 14 Pi desktop and an Asus Tinkerboard. We're gonna see if this works in the Pi desktop. I'm gonna be running the operating system from an SSD drive. This is an M.2 120 gigabyte SSD and it connects to the Pi desktop hat. So I did a video on the Element 14 Pi desktop a while ago. I'll leave links in the description. I'll also leave links in the description on how to boot the Asus Tinkerboard from an external hard drive. I'll be running Tinker OS 1.8 from this SSD here, and I'm sure it's gonna work pretty good. The SSD connects to whatever single board computer you're using through USB, so it's just like using an external hard drive or USB drive with your single board computer. The Tinkerboard does require an SD card to boot from an external source, so let's go ahead and get started. I wanna see if this thing fits in here and if everything works. Asus claims that the Tinkerboard is the same exact size as the Pi 3, and it definitely is. I've tested a few cases. It won't fit in the Flirt case because the CPU is in a different location, and it's a little bigger. So if you're trying to use like a self-cooled case or a passive-cooled case, it won't work. I'm just going to speed this up so we can get through this. Tinkerboard does fit. Everything sits in here really nice, as you can see. All the ports line up. I was expecting it to fit pretty well. So I'm not even going to worry about the standoffs right now. This is just a test. I'm kind of worried about the power button working, but the power button controls the hat. So when you press the power button, it sends power to the board from the hat, and I'm sure it's going to work. Let's test it real quick. It's a very attractive case. Now, the tinkerboard does get pretty hot. There is a spot for a fan in this case, and yeah, power button works. So I've already set up this operating system to boot from the SSD. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So it booted right up, no problem at all. I have everything set up correctly. Let's check to make sure we're running from the SSD. And yes, we are, because I have a 16 gigabyte SD card and 120 gigabyte SSD. So the operating system is running from the SSD right now. You can install Kodi, you can install a bunch of apps. Now, right now, RetroArch does not work well on the Tinkerboard due to GPU and CPU drivers, but I'm sure down the road, everything's gonna work pretty well. I'm just going to go to YouTube real quick and do a little bit of playback, and that'll be it for this video, guys. It does work. And the Tinkerboard does handle video playback on YouTube a lot better than the Pi 3 does. It is a more powerful board, but there's just not the community behind it yet. So this video playback is at 720p. 1080p does lag on this board right now. Let's just see how it plays out. Seems to be running pretty smooth. I'm not sure if you can see it from my game capture. It does not look as smooth as if you're running this on a PC or something like that, but it's definitely watchable. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. The Element 14 Pi desktop is available on Element 14's website. I paid my own money for this, so there's no sponsors at all. I do like the case, but if you have a Western Digital Pi drive, it's pretty much the same thing, and you'll probably come out cheaper in the end. Like always, Thanks for watching.